All right, so I know this doesn't look as impressive. I got a 25 pounder, a 10 pounder, and a 5 pounder, uh, equaling with the bar 125 pounds. This will be my heaviest lift. I'm going to attempt it first. If I don't think I can hold it, I'll go down lighter. Uh, my heaviest so far was 115, so I'm only going up 5 pounds, but I, I should be able to do this. Uh, I took a bit of a break. Just so you don't have to get the girl screen. <laughs> warm up the, uh, the bench. It's always cold. You're like, <laughs> uh, I should have took the belt off. But anyway, so I'm going to do a test lift first and then I'll see. Uh, my goal is just five at 120 pounds and I'm going to go lighter. We'll see. Four. That's already decent for That's not bad. It's up from 150. Like it, that extra five pounds. It's just, it's just an extra five pounds. That's it. Extra five pounds. And you gotta watch it over tilt the bar here. Uh, never take weights off this way. You always do it all year round. Uh, yeah, these light little weights will pop, but if you take off like say a 10 pounder, the bars just go whoop. <laughs> I've seen that before. It's funny what happens to somebody else, but it's also dangerous. Somebody gets hurt, so it's not funny. It's, it's, it's not funny. And it's kind of funny what happens to somebody else. Okay, so I did. Uh, I want to do a couple more. I want, I want to do a couple more. See, I'm going to see if I can get this back to one, one fifteen again. Now, mind you, I've already did the uh, two forty five deadlift. The 100 pound squat, I did 10 squats, uh, 5 deadlifts. Uh, my 5 deadlifts were 3 at 240, well, an attempt at 300, attempt at 295, attempt at 275. I was able to budge the deadlift at 275, but I didn't want to hurt myself, so I went down to uh, 245. I did 3 deadlifts at 245. Then I did the other two at 225, which is 225 seems like a feather now. Uh, so I'm back to 115, what I did last week, but at least I got 120 in there, so it, it, it's, it's, it's a measure of progress. Let's see if we can get five more. I don't think I will, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So that's eight reps. Uh, four at uh, 124 at 150. But if I would have started at 115, just that extra five pounds, I would do 10 because I did 10 last week. But I also I did the chest press before I did the squat, and then the most I got last week on the squat was 90 pounds, and that was uh, my energy was getting like these big heavy compound things. There's a, a threshold where there's a weight, let's say 225, I could probably do 10 in a row. Come and do this at 115, probably do 10 in a row, no problem. Do 90 pounds on the, on the uh, um, squat, probably do 15 maybe. Uh, then the military press, because each, each one of these compound ones, they do sap you a bit of energy each time. So depending on, like if you really want to see what you can bench, maybe you start with the bench first. If you want to see what you could deadlift, you start with the deadlift. I always tend to start with the deadlift. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think this is the max for this poor little thing. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get 150 pounds on here. I think I think uh, 120 or 125 is probably. You just you just feels flimsy now. Uh, kind of terrifying. Um, will I ever get up to uh, 150? If I had spotters here, I'll do it. Uh, but. Even at that, a good workout, a perfect workout weight for me right now, again, this is under 10 weeks, it seems to be 75 pounds. 75 pounds, it pushes me without killing me. I 
get all my reps in, I can get a really good workout on it, my form doesn't suffer. With 115, your, your form starts to suffer. You probably see there on, a, on that fourth one there, it's like, okay, that one's not going up the way it's working. Will you stop shaking? <laughs> but that's what I had last time. So that's good. So it's, you know, five pounds up. If, if you're only going up five pounds in a week, that's fine. Uh, you know, you're going to have a like, you're going to have a basic, like I think in the first week, just to give you an idea, in the first week, what did I have? I had the curl bar with 10 pounds on each side. That's it. Just to go through the motions to get the muscles back into the shape again, to get used to moving those movements. Then I went and I did, uh, the second week, I think I went up to like 60 pounds or 50 pounds, uh, maybe 60 pounds with the bar. And then I think it was in the third week, I went, I moved to the, to the big boy bar here. Um, which is just, it's easier to balance out because what happens the first week, you don't have balance in your wrists, right? Uh, that type of thing. So going with the shorter bar, even if it's not the right bar, a shorter bar with lighter weight is a lot easier to, 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 to balance. Where this one, you, you got you to gotta balance something a little different. Then I think last week, yeah, like I say, last week, the fourth week, I was at 115. Um, and then I think I went down to 90 and I stayed at 90 and 90 was like, okay, I can do this all day, kind of not. Uh, but 75, you can do it all day, but you get a workout out of it that you keep good form, you will tire out, but you, you're, you don't feel like you're dangerous. Where at 90, it's like, okay, yeah, uh, I can do this all day, kind of, sort of, not, maybe not. Because it's like, okay, I got this, I got, oh, I don't got this, you know what I mean? Where with 150, it's like, I got this, I got this, I got two more, I'm going to do one more. Uh, yes, I, if there was somebody else here to spot me, I would probably push for a full 10 and, you know, you you know, doing that stuff, but I'm not going to hurt myself, and I'm not in a rush, because you're, you're still progressing, so you're still progressing, so five weeks in, here we go, yeah, uh, what's next, oh, military press.